Hello, my name is Nick. I'm a service technician here at the Inverter Service Center, and today we're going to be going over the MERC50 made by Magnum Energy. Today we're going to be going over the second episode of our mini series with the MERC50. We're going to be talking about the AGS, also known as the Auto Gen Start. If you guys are ready, let's dive on in. All right, so let's get started. Um, I'll show you the AGS button is right here. I'm go ahead and press it. And we have our first setting is the AGS control. We have the second setting AGS status, third runtime hour, fourth is the start temp, fifth is the start volts, sixth is set time, seven is quiet time, eight is AGS tech. All right, and we'll hit the AGS button. It's kind of like your home button. You can hit that and it'll take you right back to AGS control. Click that. You have off, oops, enable, you have test. Test is a cool little feature they put in. Um, basically, you click this, it will start the generator up, and then about two minutes, it will cut it off. And then we have the enable with quiet time. So let's go ahead and we'll set this to enable. Click it here. And then we'll click our um, go to the second setting, which is the AGS status. And you'll see it should say ready. So the AGS is pretty much armed and ready to go. Um, and then we can go back to AGS control. We can set it to off. And then this, the AGS status should say off. Yep. And then there's a third feature that we talked about in here, which is the um, let's see here the uh, enable quiet time with quiet time. So if you click that, it's going to make you set a time. So whatever time zone you're in, set it to that. And it's pretty simple. It goes with uh, hours. And then if you click in the knob, um, it'll let you switch to minutes. And then if you click it in one more time, it'll let you switch it to AM, PM time of day. And so it just needs that time set for a reference for the AGS. So we'll go ahead and set it back to off. And then we will go, and that's pretty much it for AGS control and AGS status right there. And we'll go to our runtime hour. So this goes all the way up to 25.5 um, hours and goes all the way down to 0.5 hours. And what this is is you can set the runtime for your generator um, here. So if you want your gen to run for 5 hours, set it to 5. If you want it to run for 3 hours, set it to 3. Um, it's pretty simple. So then we have a really cool feature, which is the start temp. They give you a little um, thermistor that comes with your AGS, and uh, you just plug it in, and it will read the temperature inside your coach or um, wherever you need the temperature uh, read for the AGS to start. And you have off. You have external input, which is the thermistor. You click that in and then um, it will let you select the temperature you want the AGS to start on. So it goes all the way up to 95 and goes all the way down to 60 and you can set it to off. Um, and then we have, oh, let's click AGS, and then we have the, um, we have our start voltage here. Um, it goes all the way down to 20 volts DC and goes all the way up to I think 24.4 volts DC. You can just set it to whatever um, DC voltage your inverter is reading and then it will start off that voltage the AGS will. The um, next thing we'll talk about is the set time. Um, again when you enable the quiet time mode it will make you set this but this is another setting where you can set it. Um, basically the AGS will need this setting for reference of time for the quiet time feature which we'll go over here soon. So set that time up for it. Now you have your quiet time. You can set it to off and then it gives you predetermined times to set it to. Now with this setting you gotta remember too it will take priority over all the other settings so do not expect during what time frame you pick the um, AGS to start off temperature or start voltage or any other settings we talked about. Um, the AGS tech you have your gen run hours. This basically records um, the gen run time um, 
while using the AGS. You have your AGS um, voltage DC, um, what the AGS sees for the DC voltage. And then you have your temperature, what your thermistor to your AGS is reading. And then you should have your revision, which is the software for that AGS with the current software is 5.4. And that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for joining us today, guys. If you found this video helpful, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. And remember, if you're having issues with your own personal inverter, you can talk to one of our highly skilled technicians here at the Inverter Service Center just by calling us at 615-285-0611. Thank you guys and have a great rest of your day.